Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear people of God, I welcome you to the nine of this podcast series on this month in this month of prayers. I want to thank God for how he has brought us. We were in a prayer meeting yesterday when the Lord began to speak to us concerning how he wants to walk with the women. And that's what I want to share with us primarily today. For the sake of praying for the Church of Christ, because there's nothing like knowing what the mind of God is part time and what he wants to do and also going ahead to align with him, to collaborate with him, to agree with him and to work together with him actively and consciously. Nothing like it. And that's where God is taking us to as we continue in this uh, podcast. Uh, we are sharing concerning how God's going to use women in this decade, especially for the church. And uh, I was praying this morning and the Lord began to give utterances concerning the spirit of Jahel, spirit of Jahel. I just kept hearing the spirit of Jahel, the spirit of Jahel is coming upon the church, upon the women in the church, the spirit of Jahel. <clears throat> that is what informs what we will be sharing with us today from the book of Judges chapter 4, where the story of Jahel was mentioned. Uh, to give a short background, it was during the time of Deborah, the prophetess, when she was a judge of Israel. And uh, she sent for Barak to lead the war against the Canaanites who were oppressing the Israelites sorely at that time. But the man was too timid to go to war by himself, said the woman should come along. And the woman said, well, I'll go with you. But the honor and the prestige of killing this Sisera, who happened to be the captain of the host of Canaan, was going to be given to a woman. That woman happened to be Jael. Quickly read through verses from verse 17 to the 24th verse uh, today. So I'm reading from Judges 4, New Living Translation. Judges 4, I read from verse 17. Meanwhile, Sisera ran to the tent of Jael, the wife of Eber, the Kenite, because Eber's family was on friendship terms with King Jabin of Hazor. Jael went out to meet Sisera and said to him, Come into my tent, sir. Come in. Don't be afraid. So he went into her tent, and she covered him with a blanket. Please give me some water, he said. I'm thirsty. So she gave him some milk from a leather bag and covered him again. Stand at the door of the tent, he told her. If anybody comes and asks you if there is anyone here, say no. Verse 21. But when Cicera fell asleep from exhaustion, Jai quietly crept up to him with a hammer and tent peg in, in her hand. Then she drove the peg, the tent peg, through his temple into the ground, and so he died. When Barak came looking for Caesarea, Jair went out to meet him. She said, Come, and I will show you the man you are looking for. So he followed her into the chains and found Caesarea lying there dead with the tent peg through his temple. So on that day, Israel saw God defeat Jabin, the Canaanite, the Canaanite king. And from that time on, Israel became stronger and stronger against King Jabin until they finally destroyed him. We all know what Canaan represents. Canaan represents the arch enemy of Israel, the, 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 the land when they just got there. It Canaan represents everything that is contrary to God. Canaan represents everything that was opposed to what God wanted to give to his children. Canaan represented the whole order that will not allow the new order of God to have its way. And that is actually what God is rising up against by his spirit, by raising the spirit of Jahel in this generation. I want to charge our women very, very seriously. And I know we all are connected to a woman when we are there. We have mothers, we have sisters, we have aunties, we have nieces, we have daughters, we have grandchildren who are, who are women. I want us to begin to take time to pray for them earnestly during this month of prayers that that spirit of Jehel that the Lord is bringing upon the church this time around, especially the women folk, that they be particular together, they will properly position to receive it. Because God is about to use weaker vessels to begin to do greater things. That is what I perceive in my spirit very, very strongly. Until this morning, I began to hear the Lord saying, Spirit of Jehel, Spirit of Jehel, Spirit of Jehel. And that's what took me to this passage today. I want to charge every one of us to latch onto what God is doing for now because there's nothing like it. Everything looks like you know how to do it when you begin to walk in the direction that God is leading you and the direction that God is walking. 
And that is the way that God wants us to enjoy this decade that we are starting. I want to challenge every one of us to take up our prayer mantles and not take prayer lightly in this decade. I'm trusting God that our women will come back to their places. You realize that though Deborah also went with them to the war, but she was not the one that killed Sarah. See, Sarah oppressed Israel for 20 years. They had no solution to him. No man could stand up to him. No man. Not the generals in the army. Not all the, all the generals. None of them could stand up to him. But look at a quiet housewife who will always be on her knees. Who will always stand in the place of prayers agonizing for the people of God. The Lord Almighty brought the enemy right to her and she did the needful. She didn't have a sword. She didn't have a gun. So some women don't have puppet. They don't have microphone. God will begin to bring much calabro shete. God will begin to bring the spirit of Jahel upon them in this generation. Oh God. They begin to do great things. They begin to bring out the giants that have tormented the church of Christ in this generation. I prophesy that the Almighty God will begin to do this in the midst of the church. And the eyes of men will see it. And they will know that God is more than sufficient to fight his battles. Because he will use the weak things of this world to confer the mighty. Say the Lord. God bless you. See you tomorrow.